Hello, welcome back to Learn Economy. Having discussed the meaning of autocorrelation, the, uh, the, the causes of autocorrelation, in this video we are going to look into the consequences of autocorrelation. So we know that autocorrelation involves serial correlation, right? Your present value is dependent upon your past value or your past value influences your present value. So this is what autocorrelation means. And this is something what uh, you can see in your time series data. So as a result of autocorrelation or serial correlation, you can see that uh, there will be uh, problems with all assets estimators. Uh, we have already seen the Goose-Marco theorem. We have, we have seen that uh, if you satisfy certain assumptions, you will be getting the blue estimators, right? So, uh, uh, autocorrelation uh, is something that uh, uh, it is considered to be a, a problem in your model. So, if you are running a regression or if you are running a model uh, and it, if it suffers from the problem of autocorrelation, you have to deal with it as soon as possible. Otherwise, you will be facing certain consequences and th that is what we are going to, that is what we are going to discuss in this video. Okay, so uh, if your regression suffers from autocorrelation problem, and then you will be facing certain difficulties. When the disturbance terms are serially correlated, that or when your error term is autocorrelated, then the Euler's estimators uh, will be unbiased. And you can see that uh, you won't be able to satisfy uh, this the condition of uh, no autocorrelation in your model. And that will definitely lead to inefficient uh, estimator. Uh, and your estimator will no longer be blue. Next, you can see that uh, the variance of the regression coefficient would be biased and it would become inconsistent. And uh, then as a result of the same, uh, you won't be able to test for your hypothesis. Or even if you test for the hypothesis, you cannot validate your result. Your result may not stand as valid. In most of the cases, R2 will be overestimated as a result of autocorrelation and the T statistic or the F statistic will tend to be very much higher. Next, you can see that another important problem uh, or another important consequence as a result of autocorrelation is that the variance of the random term or your error, error term might be underestimated. That means that the random variance is likely to be underestimate, uh, uh, underestimate the true um, uh, sigma square. Okay, so um, uh, that means that when it, it becomes underestimated, you are not you are not able to track the true value of it. Another consequence is that um, if the disturbance terms are autocorrelated or if the error terms are autocorrelated or the, if the random terms are autocorrelated or if the U terms are autocorrelated, then the Euler's estimates are not asymptotic. That means that your beta hats are not asymptotically efficient. Uh, so that's all about the consequences of autocorrelation. You might have got uh, some idea with respect to uh, the um, extent to which autocorrelation would affect your model. So that is very much essential uh, to understand because uh, if your model suffers from the problem of autocorrelation, you have to first of all detect the problem and then you have to deal with the same. I'll be doing a, a video on the test which could be used for uh, uh, detecting the problem or, or, or problem of autocorrelation. Only if you are able to detect the problem, you can solve for the same. Okay, so with that, we end today's session. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And you can be a part of my Telegram group and Telegram channel to discuss your doubts. That's all for today. I'll be providing the links of both my Telegram group and Telegram channel in the description box. You can use the same to be a part of these. Uh, with all with these things, I end here. Thank you. Thank you.